A Stark County man who decided to get out of the house and into nature went big. 60-year-old Tom Wright crisscrossed the U.S. that includes Hawaii, Alaska, some territories on a quest to visit every single national park, all 425 of them. And he did it in less than one year. News 5's Bob Jones sits down with the nature and history lover who could now be a world record holder. Tom Wright is a collector of Coca-Cola cans and bottles with more than 800 of them. I picked this up in Atlanta, which is Coca-Cola's headquarters. A collector of Star Wars character cars. He has dozens of those. When you're into something, you are all in. Yes. And a collector of memories from his favorite places to visit, national parks. You really are excited about the parks, aren't you? I am an advocate, yes. Um, I just love them. How much does Tom love them? For 13 months, he planned and plotted on how he could visit all 425 national parks in one year. He did it in less than 11 months. That included stops in Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, American Samoa, and Guam. So how much did this cost you? Uh, the total cost came to be $64,000. But the married, retired Goodyear engineer feels the journey was priceless, taking in the beauty, history, and heritage of this country, while meeting so many people curious about his quest. Hundreds, if not thousands of people over the, qu uh, the quest came up to me in to inquire what I was doing. Tom believes his trip should put him in the Guinness Book of World Records for visiting all of the national parks in the shortest amount of time, but says there are some questions being raised about him using charters instead of public flights to parks in Alaska. Tom says that shouldn't matter. The company I used is one of only a couple which the National Park Service authorizes to fly visitors into and out of those parks. So that is the public means of transportation. Speaking of Alaska, Tom says Glacier Bay National Park was his most so memorable the, visit. Uh, stellar sea lions on the little islands out in the middle of the inlet. That was the one of the six killer whales that we saw. From a historical perspective, Tom says it's hard to beat Independence Hall in Pennsylvania. That's the room where they debated signed the Constitution. But if he could only choose one destination, Tom would pick breathtaking Zion National Park in so Utah. You have to climb Walter's Wiggles. Tom is now ready to rest, but hopes his journey inspires others to visit our national parks. What do you say to the people who say, Tom, you're nuts? I say, folks, if you think it's nuts, go to a few parks. Experience. In Uniontown, Bob Jones, News 5. Pretty cool. Now, Tom covered 123,000 miles on that journey. That's, uh, that includes the plane, the, the cars, whatever he did, did on the road, the, the hiking, the boats, everything. Unbelievable. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of ground covered. <clears throat>